What are you passionate about? Are you happy? Are you really happy? Do you trust your own instinct? What is your perception of God? Are you the best version of yourself? This is Conversations We Never Had, hosted by Wendy. And I'm so excited to be sitting down with Sandi Yue Horoge. What is the one thing that people don't know about you? I think people don't know how sensitive I am, right? Yeah. Because I think if you're one of those people who's always there for friends, yeah. how you're always there for family, you're, mm -hmm. you're sort of the, the one who holds everything together. Yeah. But I'm extremely sensitive, like yeah. literally like a child. I'm yeah. one of those people you'd say something, I think about it, I'll be like, hmm, yeah. I'm not going to let this pass. And someone will be like, Stop, this happened in the morning. I'll be like, yeah, but I can't sleep. Yeah. So can we just not? Yeah. So it, I think it's that. I think but I love that about yeah. me. Who is studying? I was born in Ohio in the States. Yes. My dad was studying in, in America. Mm -hmm. and he was a pastor. He recently passed away. Mm -hmm. Still, so let's so not even go there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have three brothers. Mm -hmm. My older brother, Osama, passed away in 89 because mm -hmm. of the, you know, the whole political violence thing, mm -hmm. as a case in, in those days. And he was really politically active. He was mm -hmm. 19, but he was like hardcore. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so I've got two brothers now, Uli Nomosa, who are my best, best friends. Yeah. Um, tomboy, 100%. Yeah. Um, I've got three kids. Mm -hmm. I'm married to Tony Horacha, who's also an actor. Yeah. I grew up everywhere, as you can imagine, as a pastor's kid. Mm -hmm. um, Canada, Ohio, America, Guamapumulo, which is northern Guasulu Natal, yeah. like rural farm life, yeah. 100%. Yeah. So I attribute everything that I am in terms of me being a creative mm -hmm. to that background mm -hmm. because, you know, I, I have a touch of basically every experience. Yeah. 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 And you spoke a little bit about um, your childhood. Mm -hmm. And I want to know what is the one thing that um, one memory that comes to mind when you when we speak of your childhood. I went to a boarding school in Gosling Natal in Pine Town, yeah. and it was an all girls Catholic school. Yeah. So I guess I was a very rebellious type of a person. I see. So the whole um, the organized way that the Catholics I was a bit. You know, I was rebellious, I yeah. guess. I was like, can we just not pray and go, I type know. of thing. Yeah. So there was uh, um, a lot of people who been to a Catholic, or go to Catholic um, church yeah. would understand where they call it in English, which is the stages of Christ, you know, okay. which you do um, with Skatsama Easter. And yeah. it takes about two hours. Mm. It's quite, mm. you know, it takes... And you and I, I couldn't. Like, mm. right. So in the middle of that, in the middle of the spray, I, yeah. I had discovered a route that went to the roof of the school. Yes. So while they were doing that for two hours, I was chilling on oh, the roof, no. just like, and Mabo talking now, they're coming and then I'll go into the hall. Yeah. That the lady across the school always could see me going there on the roof at the same time. Oh. And she came and I'm chilling on the roof. Yeah. And next thing, the nuns come because mm -hmm. we were under the nuns obviously yeah. and they're like we knew it was you i got into so much trouble so i was just really that type of a wow. kid like really not yeah. yeah so fast forward um 2018 mm -hmm. you're a mother like yeah. you said mm -hmm. you are someone's wife yeah how has life changed how had to how have you had to adjust to play those two roles i, I don't know if i told you this once yeah. in 2015 i had a stroke mm -hmm. I come home every Friday night we don't cook. So I come home, I'm working for government because mm -hmm. I decide, hey, this acting thing, let me yeah. just, yeah. you know, tint it in my papers and yeah. go and find it. Right? You know how it's okay. stressful. It's stressful. Yeah. So you want yeah. something that's a bit stable. Um, stable. Yeah. So I go and so I come back Friday night, pizza, yeah, yeah, pizza, not on in front of the kids. I literally can feel myself, my whole mouth twisting, mm -hmm. my left side going numb in front of the kids. And I knew, because I had never uh, known anyone close to me who had mm -hmm. a stroke, mm -hmm. but I could see, uh, because I need to see us, it's mm -hmm. okay, I, this is what they always say, yes. it's okay, I think I'm having a stroke. Mm -hmm. I fall on the ground. Mm -hmm. My kids know, it's on the fridge, in case of an emergency, and if daddy's not home or mommy's not home, 
and who I did is currently in who yeah. our, our helper. Yeah. But she had obviously knocked off. It was half past seven, I think. Yeah. So she's in her in room. room. Yeah. And then instead of them running to, because my eldest, who's now 17, mm -hmm. you know, so he was, what, 15? Yeah. So he was grown up enough to go call for help yes. and do what he had to do. But the first thing they did, they just stood around me and held hands and like, guys, what should we do? And they prayed, you know? So I'm on the floor, I can't talk. I'm busy thinking, but he said, like, put over like something before you call for help. Mm -hmm. Instead of all that, he just says, guys, let's pray first. First they, instinct. Yeah, the yeah. Whole, first instinct, exactly. Yeah. So they hold hands and they just, a simple prayer. They say, God, we don't know what's happening to our mom. She's such a good mom. Please help her, whatever this is. In the middle of all that, I just knew, I just had this calmness in me, it's okay. Mm. I'm, I'm going to be okay. Mm. By the time the tati phone, by her phone, my phone, my neighbor, daddy, where are you? This is happening. I was just so calm. I was like, thank you, Lord, for these kids. I think they just saved my life. Because he literally mm. in that state. Mm. Mm. I, I, know, I, know, I know when I went to hospital, a lot of people were like, even my neurosurgeon mm. was like, at your age, like a stroke, what could have, oh, and, what could have and you just recovered. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're not really spiritual, you will never understand. Mm -hmm. I really do believe at that moment, even if that had meant my life, because yes. we know on our strokes, really a lot of yeah, people yeah, don't yeah. make it. Yeah. Sometimes you are left with obvious, yes. all this, yes. this happened. You know, it's like God just, Isanda Saki just said, okay. Because of that innocent prayer, but I, do, but I, but I also do, and I do um, believe that we negotiate with God wow. at times. Yeah, because my uh -huh. grand, that's exactly what happened to her in '93, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, yeah. when I was born, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure, yeah. but I was still young. Yeah. and she, some shy stroke mm. one side, wow. and she would tell us, yeah. Oguti, she was, she was going, she, she but she yeah. negotiated. Wow. So so like, 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 wow. But I see the voice that yeah. was speaking to her back was saying, but mm -hmm. it's my mom and her yeah. sister. Wow. And they were grown up mm -hmm. at the time. And then she said back, yes, I'm not going to be able to do it. Wow. So, yeah. so I think mm -hmm. you, to some extent, mm -hmm. because it's a subconscious thing, I think maybe I you did I believe that negotiate it with right. God and say, yeah. listen, yeah, not, not now. Like, Lord, look, look, look at these young people. I mean, they're still young. They're still young, yeah. absolutely. And because God right. is love. Oh my gosh. He said, actually, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Then, what is the biggest <laughs> lesson that yeah. you've learned from your kids? They've made God for me more accessible. Mm. Oh, yeah, but God is just, is literally just that. Mm. Does, we don't, we formalize it. Mm. We, it, I think, as the most cooler, we, we lose that innocence mm. that we did have, like they do as, as yeah. little people. Yeah. So um, I think God is just that accessible. And He knows us. He, we are not Osenzi. Yeah. So He, I get Kosazi like us, you know. So we ask Mona, so Mangabe sometimes when we're putting on a certain demeanor and go by, Lord, we're still attending us. He's like, come on. It's time, you know, you don't talk like me. You know, you don't talk like me. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you speak about God a lot, mm -hmm. but I want to understand your um, perception of God. Who is God? I think God is the most creative. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're, we're in the right place, actually, as yeah. creatives. And we, we know how creative the Holy Spirit is, yeah. you know. So for me, God is that, he's that accessible. Yeah. And I use him, use him in terms of... Um, access him mm -hmm. in all spheres of who I am as a creative, as a mother, as a daughter, as yeah. a wife, as a, as a business person. What does spirituality mean to you? My deepest place mm -hmm. of vulnerability back to my creator who, who knows me inside and out. So for me is that space of just being 100% real, 100% mm -hmm. grounded mm -hmm. in, like, outside of the noise, mm -hmm. just who I really am in touch, mm -hmm. in terms of who, between me and my creator and nothing else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what is your relationship with your creator? It's dad and, and, daughter. and daughter. It's that real for me. Mm -hmm. It's real dad and daughter. Good, I'm like, 
Kota Baba. How about when I like I, mm. I I know you love me, I know, but really? Yeah. Are you watching this going on? Yeah, well, so it's that I just really always try every day to to just keep it um hundred percent real. Mm. 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 Any spiritual practice? Mm. Do you have any? Prayer. Mm -hmm. Not this complicated, just literally prayer. Do you find it easy to be vulnerable? I'm more vulnerable in my, in my I think in my personal space, yeah. in terms of relationships with friends mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, my, my kids. But I think as, as I've grown up, I've become less vulnerable, which, I, which mm -hmm. is bad. Because mm -hmm. I think the more vulnerable you are, the more you, you like... This is who I am. Take yeah. it or leave it, type of thing. You're not, yeah. you're not being guarded, which means, mm -hmm. you know, as there's more a sense of being guarded mm -hmm. that I've suddenly developed that I never really mm -hmm. was ever about. Yeah. Mm. What is your take on ancestors? I believe in ancestors in terms of just saying, Bakona, they were here, mm -hmm. and their presence can't just suddenly disappear just mm -hmm. because they've passed on. Yeah. And I, in, even in my prayer, I pray to God, I pray to the Holy Trinity, that's my main thing. And then I'll just say, you know, a small thing just like that makes me, comforts me. I'm like, hey, Dad, I'm having a bad day, whatever. But it's not like, I was so come on the mother, whatever. Yeah. Yes, my daughter heard me once, yeah. and I was just, just like, Mommy, were you talking to Mkulu? But didn't Mkulu just pass away? Mm -hmm. For me, it just gave me a sense of comfort to yeah. talk to someone, Ngazi, Uya Ngazi. Oh, whether my Debian gives or oh, look, and guys, and maybe, and God being God, I hope He just directs it. It's a shame, I understand. Yeah. She's talking to her dad, but she's actually talking to, to me. me. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. What I choose to understand about death is um, it cuts. Like, yeah. I think, mm. I think, mm. sure. So you believe that's it, yeah. and yeah, and I think it's mm. an uncomfortable feeling, and I think that's one thing that mm. it put me under depression. Yeah, and I think you're pro what you're doing, mm -hmm. maybe yeah. higher level, you mm -hmm. might be protecting yourself sure. because uzokula, yeah. and I think you didn't go for the longest time yeah. to say. And the reason why yeah. I say that we were so close, sure. extremely yeah. close. And Timmy, yeah. when she left. Mm. She left Pamguan. Sure. And I and I said yeah. and Xin Bakona, we went yeah. to a Chinese doctor. Sure. And when we went to a Chinese yeah. doctor, because Nessis Bon Gutuba week and okay. we were trying all avenues. Yeah. Look, sure. we were not even trying to question. Yeah. We're like si pen yeah. to we, sure. we went there mm. and mm. Mumbon the Chinese doctor, okay. Megan Beg, it's wow. like and Ukokwami, mm. because you know, we've never experienced that mm. in my family. You didn't know. We didn't know. You but didn't the know. things that she would mm. say, she yeah. was telling us, mm. we'd know I'm leaving. But she left on a Monday mm. and she was supposed to mm. leave. Actually, she was mm. supposed to leave on a Saturday. Yeah. She grasped, like, for like, she, held a, on. she sure. was like, and it, I think what makes, what mm. comforts me is the mm. fact that I've seen her fight. Sure. And for some reason, mm. I feel like she fought mm -hmm. for me. Sure. So yeah. she left mm -hmm. with a fight. Sure. And Absolutely. when she closed her mm -hmm. eyes, okay. when she closed mm -hmm. her eyes, mm -hmm. where the the cleanest, <laughs> yeah, right. When she closed her yeah. eyes, yeah. I, ah, oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah. 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 So, it's a hard thing to 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 deal with when someone you love dearly leaves you. Thank you. You know. She left, mm. and I feel like the reason why Niti Agasang is because the connection is no longer there. Mm. Like, we were so close, you know? And it's hard to accept the fact that she's not here. Mm. But, thank you. It's hard, but yeah. it's, the, it's the truth, and it's yeah. what I choose to believe. She's no longer yeah. here. Sure. And, and... Because the connection is not there. She doesn't come to my dreams. Sure. And you know, people do yeah. comfort me and say, mm -hmm. maybe she understands. You no longer, like, wins and wins. And so she's trying to protect me. But me, now my spirit says, she's no longer yeah. there. I just need to be grateful for the fact sure. that she was there. Yeah. And she the, fought. The time you Yo, fought. Yeah. She was supposed to have mm. left in 93, but yeah. she fought. Wow. And I'm grateful yeah. for that. And I think that that's what... That's the only thing that keeps me going. Sure. Just to make her proud. Yeah. Even when she 
because I feel like she's gone, mm -hmm. but she's no longer Umawe. I know. That sure. I know. Okay. But she's gone back to the higher sure. power. Yeah. She's now, gone back she's to... She's now in... Yeah. But she's now in... As her grandchild. Wow. Umbona as... As Umdanake. Wow. As everything. Because yeah. she's now God. Yeah. Wow. You know, so... I love that. My, my brother recently had... Um, like, he was in, in, a, in a coma. Yeah. For... Yo, four months. Literally, four I see months. you, you know, one of those things where you're like, guys, Hi. this could be it. Wow. Just literally on Christmas, gosh, hit his head. And his experience, my, he's 100% yeah. okay now. Yeah. He says he feels like he was um, out for three days. Yeah. For him, it's, it's Gutina. Yeah. That's why it's, it, 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 and a, a lot of people always say, God's time, yeah. what could feel like for us, but God, I've been praying about this yes. for years. Yes. Literally for God, it's, it could literally be just half a day. Yeah. Yeah. So he, and he knows what, it's not going to be as torturous as we think. We, yeah. you know? So yeah. when my brother's experience is like, I'm writing a book about this. I wow. literally sat at God's feet. Wow. So I'm like, did you think about your kids? Did you think did about you us? Yeah. like, it wasn't about that stuff. Na, it was about Nami, na, me and God, and yeah. me asking, because he's a scientist. Yeah. So he had to ask him everything. Oh, but he's those, one of those people who, who believes in prove all things type of thing. And you know how scientists, they beat all oh, Thomas so yes. until there's a formula and I can prove it. So he's like, God being God, yeah. he had to show him, because you see this thing, Yaki Opfuna, you're going to be proven. Yeah. I'm there, I'm God, and I love you, yeah. and get, understand what he means, get created mm -hmm. as that questioning person who's like that. Yeah. Blah, blah. But the most amazing thing he says, I experience more than anything, is just love. Yeah. God is just love. Yeah. Just, just wants us young kiddo to be standane, yeah. and just as long as everything you do, you do it out of a place of love, yeah. Yeah. it all comes together. No, definitely. God is love. Yeah. I think that's what I understand so, about yeah. yeah. So you your experience, yes. the time you had with your grandmother, yes. just love, Re reflect on that yeah. love. Yeah. That's, that's what must keep you going. Yes. That's what must, Joma wins at this show and yeah. everything else that was mm -hmm. That love must mm -hmm. be your, your fire. Yeah. The driving it's Joma force of everything. Too. I don't want to yes. let her down. I want to prove and make her proud, yes. I think is, is what you said. Yeah. Same thing with my dad, yeah. the love I have. Because I know that's a blessing. Yeah. A lot of people go through, Okay, guys, no more yeah. crying. Yeah. No more crying. Yeah. You know, we, we were blessed to yeah. have known to have such yeah. a love, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. What do you think is the purpose of human experience? The purpose of human experience mm -hmm. is to experience, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. experience as in live. 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 Mm -hmm. Every moment. Don't go through um, life not being conscious of whatever's going on. Mm -hmm. Live every yeah. moment. Yeah. I love this, um, I think it's a quote that says, no matter how scared you are, mm -hmm. no matter how shaky your voice is, speak up. Mm -hmm. so by, like literally, life is about just showing up for yourself, mm -hmm. speaking mm -hmm. up for yourself, mm -hmm. living your, your truth every day, yeah. so that you know one day when you can say it's, high, it's over, mm -hmm. say peli, mm -hmm. but you're like, you know what, I live. Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. What do you think is your purpose? I, I'm at my best when I'm just hooking people up, if anything. Mm -hmm. You know, we all have big things that we wish to do. We all yes. wish we could build art schools and mm -hmm. do all these things. Mm -hmm. But just on a, on a practical, level. small level, yes, yes. it's literally to just always be that person who yeah. would always be remembered for, mm -hmm. well, I opened the door. Yeah. She hooked me up with that opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. I've always been that person yeah. like, hey guys, there's this happening, yeah. there are these opportunities, mm. and I just love connecting, connecting. people to, to better opportunities. Yeah. What are you afraid of? I'm really afraid of not having tried my best mm. in terms of anything that, because mm. of the mm. or, or the voices in my head, because mm. sometimes the enemy is literally yourself, mm. you know, mm. where you're like, but we as a Djibouti, you can't do that. But still, we as a Djibouti, you're not going to get a computer, so manje, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, you yeah. always come up with things that are self, yeah. um, um, Discrediting. So, absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes the work can just literally be within. How do you center yourself when you're in the midst of darkness? Prayer. Prayer. Literally, yeah. prayer. 
um, is my campus and, mm -hmm. and, and just really for me, mm -hmm. especially in, our, in this industry that we're in, mm -hmm. I try as much as possible to keep myself as grounded as possible. And that means I, I'm still conscious of the fact that Uma yeah. Ukona, yeah. if she had to see this or yeah. this had to happen, you know, yes. those things are still very much, Gisa, yeah. you know, I'm not like, ah, priority. Yes. Yes. Like, so no one must tell me, no, yeah. I still, I'm conscious of people who've worked hard for me to get to where I am, yeah. you know, who would yeah. be disappointed if I had to, yeah. you know, let yeah. myself go in yeah. whatever, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I have, I have people to show up for. Mm. So that keeps me, it keeps Going. me grounded. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you were given an opportunity to advise your 21 year old mm -hmm. self, sure. what would you say? Be bold. Be bold. Don't be scared. Mm -hmm. What does the word grace mm -hmm. mean to you? Mm -hmm. That's my prayer. I mean, every night is like, Lord, bless me. Because grace, I think, is not really something you can demand from God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. For me, I pray for grace. I pray mm -hmm. for mercy. Because mm -hmm. grace is when you are not, uh, you're not entitled to something. Yeah. But God just but you agupe. Agupe. Absolutely. It's so it's those moments of just mm -hmm. undeserved mm -hmm. undeserved and unlimited mm -hmm. favor. Yeah. And 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 you know how God will someone say, There's something so gracious about you. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, Wow, it's mm -hmm. God at work. Going back to your dad, mm -hmm. what is the one conversation you never really had with him mm -hmm. and you wished that you had? Wendy, I spoke up to my dad about everything. Yeah. He was like my best. best you know how you were with your grandmother? Yes. Literally like that. Same. So I'm so glad I had every everything. conversation with him. What has been your biggest yes. loss? Besides mm. maybe your, yeah. your father? I feel like if fear hadn't affected me, mm. I wouldn't have closed down my shop in, in 2005 mm. that I had opened in 2003. Mm. So that is a, a bit of a, a regret. Yeah. We have all, all yeah. I should have just been braver and moved yeah. um, locations yeah. instead of saying, oh, it's not working. Yeah. You know, uh, people, people are not getting understand. what I'm doing. Maybe you know, I that victim just, mentality. Because yeah. I think it was that. I yeah. just made myself a, a victim. Yeah. And it, it, it's a loss. Because yeah. even if I had to open it again now, it's there's been yeah. that time yes. factor in terms of, you know. It um, won't be the same. It won't be the same. Yeah. 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 And your biggest achievement? I don't know if I can say my kids, because mm -hmm. yeah. that's a gift that's that it. just, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. it's just an undeserved um, blessing that God gives us. But yeah. for me, it, it's, it's been, it's literally one of those uh, yeah. moments that I'm like, this yeah. is an achievement of just being, yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Yeah. Yay, no, yeah. can, you, can I get a hug? <laughs> yes. Let's talk about things we keep inside. Deep in our souls That make us who we are All the pain The things that bring us down The darkness and the light That we carry